in the Cheshire Phoenix. It's going to be Del Pesh and Michael uh, Teague even to make the jump, the opening jump ball. The opening jump is won by the Cheshire Phoenix. And it is they who will get this first possession underway. Here's Teague inside, backing down King. Evans now, driving inside. He's got Delpesh on him. Anderson, fading away from the elbow. Back iron, no good. Rebound support by Ollison. Miller, great steal from Anderson. He spoke about his defensive intensity in the build-up to this game. And he comes away with a steal. Here's Watson Gale with a steal of his own. All the way to the hole, and he lays it in off the glass for two. Oh, Tevin Ollison almost got his hand in the passing lane on that last possession. Will we stay with the Cheshire Phoenix? Austin, guarded by Watson Gale. Anderson looking inside fatigue ends up with Evans. He's got Ollison on him. And that's going to be a foul away from the ball. It's going to be called on Malcolm Delpesh, says the officials. As he picks up his first personal foul. Otterobia hands off with Austin. Now Evans. Guarded by his former Flyers teammate Miller. Austin, great pass inside. Otterobia blows the layup. A rare miss from him as he gets caught underneath the bucket. King, step back three on the way. Drains it. And VJ King gets his first bucket of this game. Well, a quick break in play. The officials. Notice the wet patch on the court. So a quick, quick stoppage. And here you look at that triple from VJ King. That's one of the strengths of this Bristol Flyers team this season. They've got plenty of players who can handle the ball, like VJ King out on the perimeter, as he knocks it down for his first field goal. Flyers on top by five. Anderson. Guarded by Ollison, dribbles it off his foot. Shot clock's at 10. Still with Anderson, looking for Ocherobia. And again, great defense from Bristol Flyers. As Watson Gale dives out of bounds to save the ball. He will stay with the Flyers. Early 5 nothing run for the Flyers. King. Hands off with Ollison. Ollison turns the corner, lobs it up to Delpesh. It's great defense by Ocherovia. King again open for three. It drains it. And VJ King, he just shakes his head back on defense because he's been left wide open two times in a row. Evans pulls up with a mid range two. No good that time. An offensive rebound secured by Ocherovia. And Minx will get a new 14. It's going to be a foul. Oh, offensive foul even. Called on Ocherobia, I believe, on the entry pass. And again, VJ King, all the time in the world to shoot that one. Well, subs all around for Cheshire Phoenix. Coach Ben Thomas not happy with the way his team has started this game. Miller. Guarded by Evans. Skips to King. Looking inside for Delpesh. VJ King again drives inside. Good defense from Anderson. Shot clock down to five. Ollison has to go to work. Drives all the way to the hole. Lays it up. Gets the friendly roll inside. And Bristol flies out to an early 10 point lead. Evans splits the D, kicks out to Maceo Jack for three, no good. Rebound Miller. 
Watson Gale, extra pass, great ball movement from Bristol. Ollison inside, looking for King in the corner. Tries baseline, reverse layup is good. And Bristol flies out to a 12 0 lead to start this game. Timeout, Phoenix. And you can see early on in the opening exchanges, Coach Thomas not happy with the way his team started this game. He made a number of changes early on in this 12 0 run for the Flyers. As we take a look at some of that great ball movement from the Flyers, resulting in that finish from VJ King who's got eight points so far in this opening quarter of course VJ King's been one of the key factors in the Flyers start to this season he's the team's leading scorer had a 16 point game the last time these two teams meet he's averaging around 16 oh, uh, 17 points per game to go along with seven rebounds former player from the NBA G League Thomas getting every word out of this timeout with his side trailing by 12 early on. It's been great defense from the Flyers to hold them to without a field goal in these opening exchanges. Court pressure now being shown by the Flyers. They're looking for an eight second, and it is an eight second violation. And Cheshire Phoenix unable to get the ball over the half court. Flyers, their defensive uh, intensity paying off early on in this game. It's Miller. Finds King, he's open, he drives inside, up against Anderson, puts it in. And BJ King has 10 points so far in this first quarter. Jack the other way, lays it off the glass and in. And that is Cheshire's first field goal of the evening. Ollison. Guarded by Jack. Ollison, still with Ollison, kicks out to Watson Gale. Watson Gale stops on a dime. The ju turnaround jumper is short. And the rebound gathered in by Neighbour. Evans driving up against King. Great move. Count it and the foul. And Marcus Evans, chance to get a line for a bonus. Nice look at that explosive move off the dribble for Evans. Flyers fans know all about just how explosive he can be. Bonus is good for Marcus Evans. Here's Watson Gale. He's looking for a foul on that last possession. Nothing given by the official. Still with Watson Gale, shot clock now down to eight. Pulls up for three, drains it. Jelani Watson Gale, he loves that three pointer off the dribble. And extends the Bristol lead to 12. Here's Evans, kicks out to Neighbor, fakes the three, finds Evans once again. Guarded by Miller. Full screen comes from Neighbor. Evans fires up, back iron, no good. And the rebound falls to VJ King. King, full screen from Delpesh, King again for three, splashes it, and VJ King is cooking in this first quarter. 13 first quarter points for VJ King in this game. He's having his way with Cheshire so far in this one. It's going to be an offensive foul called on the screen. As the substitutions come in for the Bristol Flyers. Going to be a blocking foul called on Teague. 
as VJ King and Malcolm Delpech both take a seat. A well-earned rest for VJ King. 13 first quarter points in this game for him. Three for three from behind the arc. And Flyers up to 20 points so far in this first quarter with still four minutes and change to go. Here's Miller looking for Watson Gale. Ball screen comes from Smith. Watson Gale over the head pass. Leslie Smith will try one this time. That goes off the iron, no good. The rebound gathered in by Neighbor. Austin pushes up over the half court. Finds Neighbor. Austin has got Watson Gale on it. Larry Austin takes the screen from Neighbor. Good defense by the Flyers, and Austin gets a friendly roll. It was good defense, but better offense. Watson Gale splits the defense, pulls it back out, waves away the screen, pulls up the three. No good that time. The rebound gathered in by Evans. And Evans now looking to push in transition. It's Teague finding Austin, looking to go downhill. Inside to Neighbor. Backing down Smith. Fakes it. The turnaround hook is good for Will Neighbor. And a couple of back to back scores for the Cheshire Knicks. Over three minutes to go in the first. Here's Miller. Finds Thomas Bell wide open for three. Back iron and Flyers missed their last three field goal attempts. Here's Teague pushing in transition. It's going to be a foul called as Teague will earn himself a trip to the free throw line. Mike Miller will pick up the foul. His first personal as he will head to the bench, as will Watson Gale. VJ King coming back into the game, and Corey Samuels getting his first taste of action this evening. A well-earned break for Watson Gale, and his B first BBL start here this evening. Certainly has been an impressive player for Coach Kapoulis in these early goings. Tajay Teague at the line goes one for two from the charity stripe. The rebound's gathered in by Smith. Samuels finds Ollison. Now top to Thomas Bell. Samuels down low to Smith. Backing down neighbor. Leslie Smith has to go to work. The shot is no good. And the rebound secured by Teague. backing down Ollison turnaround jumper great defense from uh, well great offense even from Teague able to push and take advantage of the mismatch able to draw that foul on Tevin Ollison and Teague will earn himself a trip back to the foul line chance to cut this Flyers lead down to single digits first one and good for Tajay Teague, 11 points, 10 rebounds last time out against the Caledonia Gladiators. Big win for them at home. Samuels. Looking for King, top of the key. Great defense, and it's stolen away by Maceo Jack. Who's off to the races, lays it up and in. And Cheshire, a team that can really put pressure on these Bristol Flyers guards. Three of the best defensive guards in the league on their roster. Bell going back door again, it's stolen by Cheshire. And Coach Kapoulis looks to the table to call a timeout on this next dead ball. It's Evans driving inside, he's wrapped up and he will earn himself a trip to the foul line to shoot two. Oh, it's going to be a, a foul called on the floor, even. As Coach Kapoulis calls his uh, timeout. A second personal foul called in that last possession. Both teams heading to the bench. 
VJ King leads the way. All scorers for Bristol so far. 13 points for him. Flyers, they went off to the races in the opening quarter. They had 12 unanswered points before the timeout by coach Ben Thomas. And then coach Thomas' side gets starting to work their way back into this game. A uh, trail 20 points to 14, but able to really push in transition. And on the defensive end, able to strip the ball away up to three steals in this game so far. They're led by Macy Jack, who has four points so far in this one. Tegan Evans both on three points apiece. And Austin, Larry Austin, just two points so far for him. Two minutes and a half to go in this first quarter. We will see Marcus Evans earn himself a trip to the free throw line. Evans knocks down the first. This is tally up to four points so far tonight. And his team's last met, he managed to finish with 15 points against the Flyers, against his former club in that overtime game. Here he is now guarding his former teammate, Mike Miller. 90 seconds to go in the first. Miller looking inside for Smith, who fakes it, is able to draw the foul inside. And that foul's going to be called on Tajay T. As he picks up his second personal. And with Cheshire running this shorter rotation this evening, I need to be careful of players getting in foul trouble. Jamel Anderson's going to come and check back into the game for the Phoenix as uh, Teague takes a seat for the rest of this first quarter. Well, Leslie Smith at the line. Second spell with the Bristol Flyers for Leslie Smith. First joined them in 2016. And a uh, two-year spell with the club. He's able to extend this lead back out to five. Austin. Looking for neighbor. Pulls up for three. No good on the triple. The rebound ends up with Miller. Samuels. It's the handoff with King. Guarded by Jack. King drives inside into a triple team. And again, the pressure pays off for Cheshire. Evans, beautiful crossover by Marcus Evans, who gets the lefty lay in to go. And Cheshire, after trailing by 12 early in this game, have cut it down to three. Ball lobbed inside to Smith, who off the glass can't finish. Cheshire pushing in transition, it's Austin. Anderson back top to Austin, final 25 seconds. Off the first, Austin driving downhill, off the glass, no good, chases down the offensive rebound. Three ball is good for Maceo Jack and Cheshire Phoenix have tied it up at 21 points apiece. There's five seconds to go in the first. Miller drives inside, looking for Bell, has to shoot. Off the glass, no good, and that will do it for the end of a back and forth first quarter. Flyers off to a tied up at 21 points apiece. That man on your screen there, VJ King, leads the way with 13 points in this game so far. Evans up to Miller even, stolen away again by Cheshire. And Flyers with another turnover in this game, their fifth so far. Anderson for three, back iron no good, rebound by Miller. Samuels swings to Bell. Bell drives inside, lobs it up to, well, looking for Del Pesh on the lob, but a little bit too much on that one. And again, Bristol now with their sixth turnover of this game so far. Austin comes off the screen from Neighbor, kicks out to Jack again for three, chases down his own rebound and jams it in. 
Maceo Jack. It's all fired up off that play. It's going to be an offensive foul called on Malcolm Delpesh. And Watson, Gale and Ollison looking to come back into this game for the Flyers as Delpesh uh, picks up the foul. And here you see that replay of the Maceo Jack slap. Cheshire their first lead of the game in this one. Here's Austin. Guarded by Watson Gale. Still Austin. Kicks out to Evans. Evans got Miller on him. Tries left. Great defense from the Flyers. And Flyers have numbers here. It's Watson Gale out to Ollison. Thought about the three. And again, Harry Austin able to reach around the back for the steal. Delpesh will take a seat. Leslie Smith will return to the game. Osherobia back into the game for the Cheshire Phoenix. Will Neighbour takes a seat. Roy Daniels into the game. Evans takes a seat. Subs all over the court here. It's going to be a foul called on Jamel Anderson on the inbounds. And of course, managed to be able to rip, rip away those steals, but of course the uh, counterbalance to that is you do risk up picking up those fouls. Miller. Out to King. Extra pass for Watson Gale and again Bristol Flyers, their eighth turnover of this game so far. Ball into T, uh, ball into Jack even. Here's uh, Austin. Guarded by Watson Gale. Austin. Splits the defense going downhill. What a move from Larry Austin as he gets the finger roll to go. Smith. Miller. Guided by Jack. Shot clock down to five. Miller has to go to work here. Skips it out to King. Has to shoot. To the shot clock winding down. Offensive rebound gathered in by Leslie Smith. The fadeaway jumper is off. Ollison can't get the tip on the rebound and he picks up the foul after Austin gathers in the rebound. Thomas Bell going to return to the action. Of course, Thomas Bell had that fantastic performance in the last game between these two teams. Season high, 27 points for him in that one. Anderson. Hands off with Daniels. Offensive foul called on Osherobia on the screen. And he's only just come back into the game as he picks up another foul. Just his first personal foul, though. Mike Miller. Four point lead in this second quarter for the Cheshire Phoenix. Again, it's stolen away by Austin. Austin, Euro step layup. Offensive foul called on Larry Austin. And it will go back to the Bristol Flyers. It was great defense in transition from VJ King. Austin able to pick off the steal, and VJ just. Beat him to the spot. Took the hit from Austin and that'll be a foul called on him. Hey, Mike, just stop, just stop, just stop. Watson Gale brings it up over the timeline. Watson Gale, step back three. Ball goes in and out. 
And the rebound secured by Anderson. Has really been able to get anything going on offense in this second quarter in the back half of the first. Daniels kicks out to Anderson, looking inside for Ocherovia, and it's stripped by uh, Smith. And Ocherovia stands on the sideline. So Marcus Evans is getting set to return to the game. Miller open for three, can't get the finish. Bell soars for the rebound. It looked like Evans was getting set to come into the game and the players thought the sub was coming, but the official inbounded the ball to Miller and the players are back underway. Evans. Great hustle from Miller and Thomas Bell is open and lays it in in transition. Flyers turning defense into offense. Daniels. Here's Ocherovia now. Jack again for three, splashes it. And another triple for Maceo Jack, who's now up to 12 points so far in this game. Bell. What a crossover from Thomas Bell. Fakes the spin move, kicks out to an open Miller for three, who can't convert from downtown. And Flyers, after starting the game hot from behind the three-point line, now just four for 11 from deep. Evans, guarded by King, pulls up from the elbow, splashes it. And Coach Kapoulis looks to the table to call for time because Cheshire, uh, Cheshire Knicks have built up their biggest lead of the game. Seven-point advantage for them in this one. As Marcus Evans able to uh, knock down the uh, mid-range two. Seen that time and time again right here on the court of the boys campus last season. VJ King leads the way uh, for the Flyers. He has 13 points. All of those scored in the first run of the game for the Bristol Flyers. Maceo Jack now up to 12 points to lead the way for the Cheshire Phoenix. And Marcus Evans not far behind on seven. And Cheshire Phoenix, and they've done a fantastic job of being able to rally back into this game after trailing 12-0 early on in this one. Their defensive intensity, they've been getting hands in the passing lanes, able to force away steals. They've got seven steals in the game so far. They've managed to force nine Flyers turnovers, but ten turnovers of their own for the Cheshire Phoenix. I'm sure that'll be a key talking point in that timeout right now for coach Thomas here's Mike Miller full screen comes from Smith who turns the corner Smith pulls up with a mid-range two and ball goes in and out. And they're leaving him wide open, Leslie Smith. Attempting him to shoot that triple. Evans finds Daniels. Daniels turns the corner. Looking inside for Ocherovia. Pulls up with a mid-range two and drains it. And now it's Cheshire who lead by nine. Ball into Bell. Bell going to work on Anderson. Turn around, lefty hook, can't get the finish. Rebound on Cherubia. On Cherubia. Anderson looking for it, but ends up turning it over. And now Watson Gale can push in transition. And as Thomas Bell lays it up in transition on the fast break. And again, Bristol finding success, turning defense into offense. Evans turns the corner off the back iron, can't get the friendly roll. Rebound ends up with Watson Gale, here's King now. King looking to attack the basket. He uh, draws the foul on Anderson. On the fast break. 
It's going to be two shots for VJ King. Jamel Anderson looks to the uh, officials in disbelief. You see the replay. It looks like Evans got his hand in the passing lane even. We'll send VJ King to the line though to shoot two. Former McDonald's All American. Played his college basketball at Louisville in NCAA Division I. So he can't get the first free throw to go. As King knocks down the second. Cuts the lead down to six. Evans. Here's Austin now. Austin driving inside, floats it up, back iron, no good. Ape again able to chase down the offensive rebound. Neighbor now swings to Austin on the baseline, driving inside. Up against Smith, it's blocked by Smith. Still ends up with Austin. He has to shoot with the shot clock winding down. And VJ King with the ball. King driving up against Anderson. And again, it's going to be a foul called. This time it will be on Jamel Anderson. Is he looking to come back into the game. Will be a second personal on Jamel Anderson as he takes a seat on the bench. Teague back into the game for the Cheshire Phoenix. King knocks down the uh, first free throw. 17 points a game this season for the Bristol Flyers, along with seven rebounds. And the second one is good. And King cuts it down to just a four point game. Evans stripped by Miller. And it will stay with the Cheshire Phoenix. Well, these are two players, they know each other very well indeed. They're on the same team in that fourth place squad from last season. His neighbor, guarded by Bell. Neighbor backing down Bell. It's going to be a foul call on the floor by Thomas Bell. Will be an end line ball for the Phoenix though. Just the first personal on Bell. And again, there is Neighbor backing down Bell once again. Blocked by Bell. Great defense and it's stripped by the Flyers. Watson Gale has it. Here's Miller lobbed up to King who puts it up and in. And Bristol Flyers are back to within two. Neighbor. Guarded by Bell. Daniels drives inside, pulls it back out. It's got King on it. Austin has to go to work. The shot clock's down to three. Austin skips to Neighbor, has to shoot. Great defense from the Flyers. Here's King now. King looking inside for Bell. Bell puts it up and in. We are. Uh, Back to within a two-point game. Oh, tied at 32 points apiece even. And a timeout has been called by Coach Thomas. Oh, it's been a game of runs so far in this one. Bristol out to a 12-0 run to start the game. Cheshire come storming back. Their biggest lead so far was nine. And then the Flyers formed a run of their own to tie things up at 32. With just inside two minutes to go in this first half. And VJ King now just picking up where he left off in that first quarter. He had 12 points early on in the uh, first. As we take a look at some of the key action, he's had a great pass inside to Bell, who was able to calmly finish around the rim. 18 first half points for King. 12 for Maceo Jack to lead the way for Cheshire.
It's going to be Watson, Gale, Miller, King, Smith and Bell. Five out there on the court for the Flyers. Jack, Evans, Austin, Teague and Neighbour for the Knicks. Here's Austin. Finds Teague. Up to Jack even. Austin turns the corner. Austin to the hole. Tough finish. Can't convert. Rebound by Watson Gare. King. King again. Blocked by Jack. Great defense by the Cheshire Phoenix. Here comes Teague in transition. Finds Evans. Evans up against Miller. Evans drives left. Kicks out to neighbor. Teague. Open lane. Teague to the hole. is blocked by Bell. And Flyers have numbers if they're quick enough. It's lobbed up to King. Who can't get the finish. The reverse finish is no good. And it has been a frantic back and forth sequence in these last few possessions. Knicks turn the ball over in their own backcourt, so Bristol will re-get possession here. Flyers, they can go two for one. Miller turns the corner, lobbed up inside and gets it to go. And Bristol Flyers have retaken the lead. Under 30 seconds to go. The shot clock is at 10. Teague pulls up for three. Drains it. And Tajay Teague, nothing but net for him. As he's able to stretch the floor. Final 10 seconds of the first half. Phoenix on top by one. Five seconds to go. Miller guarded by Evans. Floats it up. Can't get the finish, and that will do it for the end of the first half. A back and forth half we've had on our hands at the Wise campus. But at the end of the second quarter, it is turning the ball over. Bristol taking full advantage of that. Well, we are back underway for the start of the third quarter. Here is Austin. Finds Teague, now neighbour. Got King on him. Jack. Looking for Evans. Takes the screen from Neighbor. Evans to the hole. Kicks out to Teague. Extra pass to Jack. Driving inside. It's blocked by Delpesh. What a defensive possession by the Flyers. And here's Ollison to the hole. Lays it up and in. And Bristol Flyers back to a one point lead. Teague. Teague puts it on the floor. Step back three. No good. He made one of those in the first half. Watson Gale, floater in the lane. Can't convert and a rebound gathered in by Teague. Austin. Teague hands back to Austin. Austin driving inside. What a tough finish that is from uh, Austin, but rebound uh, rebound secured by Delpesh. Ollison thought about the three. Delpesh inside. Lefty hook is no good. Watson Gale on the follow. He can't convert. And Bristol Flyers unable to convert on these second chance opportunities. T backing down Miller. It's blocked by Miller. Screen comes from Delpesh. Didn't see that one coming. Ollison's wide open corner. Three ball splashes it. And a timeout's been called by coach Ben Thomas because Bristol Flyers have scored the first run of this third quarter. We've seen it time and time again this season, especially here at home. Flyers able to get off to a hot start at home and then also like to get out and run in this start of the third quarter and there you see that massive block from Delpesh which sent Ollison off to the races layup good for him
quick five points in that run for Bristol. And then you see the block here from Mike Miller on the defensive end. And again, Bristol Flyers able to turn defense into offense. Teague liked his chances with that mismatch in size. But then that left Hollison wide open in the corner for three. And he made them pay with the corner triple. Well, only 5 nothing run for the Flyers to start this third quarter. Puts them on top by four. They trailed by as many as nine in the first half. Led by as many as 12. Evans. Takes the screen from Neighbor. Evans going downhill, lays it up and in. And Marcus Evans, he needs just a little bit of space to uh, drive inside. And he took full advantage. King. Step back three. No good. Look as though he got a piece of his shirt there as Anderson splashes the baseline triple. And Cheshire back on top by one. Ollison. Screen comes from Delpesh. Ollison. What a move from Tevin Ollison. Can't come up with the goods. Here comes Evans now. Austin. Swings to Anderson. Jams it in. A baseline drive. And Cheshire Phoenix on top by three. It's going to be an offensive foul called on Delpesh on the screen. It'll be Delpesh's third personal foul as Watson Gale takes a seat. Leslie Smith getting set to return to the game. Delpesh, yeah, he'll head to the bench after picking up his third. Smith back into the game. Evans. Another three ball on the way from Anderson. This time no good. The rebound is chased down. Bell ends up on the deck. Great. Back door and jammed in by Jack. Maceo Jack, a couple of highlight plays in this game. And Cheshire Phoenix respond to Bristol's run with a 7-0 run of their own. Miller kicks out to King. Guarded by Jack. Fadeaway jumper from King. Rolled around and got the drop. BJ King for two. And the Flyers are back to within three. Six to go in the third. Neighbor finds Evans. It's guarded by Ollison. Great jab step, puts it up, can't convert. And the rebound secured by Tevin Ollison. Ollison open for three, drains it. Ollison doing it all out there. Grabs the rebound and then goes coast to coast with the three points are in transition. Austin, screen comes from Neighbor. Austin, nowhere to go, kicks out to Anderson. Shot clock down to six. Evans now takes a screen from Neighbor. Drives inside. Gets the float to the go. And the two is good for Marcus Evans. He's now up to 13 points. Smith. Finds King. King turns the corner. Driving inside. It's stripped by Evans. And Anderson leaking out in transition. Flushes it home. And pushes the lead back out to four. Bell. Hands off to King. Screen comes from Smith. King kicks out to Thomas Bell driving inside. Extra pass for Leslie Smith. 
And a great ball movement from the Flyers results in a Leslie Smith layup. Austin finds Neighbor. Neighbor back out to Austin, looking for a screen from Neighbor. Anderson's got Bell on it, splits the defense, kicks out to Jack in the corner. Shot clock down to five. Jack has to shoot and splashes it. And for every run the Bristol Flyers look to make, the Cheshire Phoenix come up with a response. Bell kicks out to Smith from the elbow. Too much on that one. The long rebound falls to Anderson. Lobbed up to... Well, he blows the layup. Larry Austin, the easiest shot he'll get all night. And Coach Capulas waves off the timeout. Bell fakes it. Turnaround jumper. No good inside. Here's Evans now in transition. Evans puts it on the floor, able to draw the foul. And subs will come in here for Flyers. Watson Gale and Corey Samuels getting set to return, as does Malcolm Delpesh, who is playing on three fouls. We'll send Leslie Smith and Mike Miller and Tevin Ollison to the bench. Mike Ocherobia coming back into the game for Cheshire Phoenix. As does Lloyd Daniels. <laughs> Evans no good on the first. He's got 13 points for the Cheshire Phoenix so far in this game. Also three steals for him tonight. And the second one is good. Just over three minutes to go in the third quarter. Flyers trailing by six. Watson Gale looking for Samuels. Extra pass for King. King driving inside. A beautiful scoop layup from VJ King. Evans. Kicks out to Maceo Jack again for three. This time goes in and out. Watson Gale looking for Bell. Bell fakes the pass, drives inside. Ends up finding Delpesh. Watson Gale, corner three ball on the way. No good. It's going to be a foul called on Corey Samuels. You see that great ball movement from Bristol as King able to continue his uh, assault on the ring. Now up to 22 points and five rebounds with two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Teague back in for Cheshire. Maceo Jack takes the seat. Evans looking for a screen from Samuels Marcus Evans steps back loses control of it Bell got his hand on it he steals it away and Thomas Bell off to the races lays it up and in and cuts the lead down to two Evans kicks out corner three ball no good, and the rebound secured by King. Thomas Bell took a knock in that last possession, ends up coming over the timeline. Samuels pulls up with a mid-range two, can't convert. Long rebound falls to Teague. Evans. Screen comes from Otterobia. Evans pulls up for three, no good. Rebound by King. And the referee just stops play here because there's a wet patch on the court after Bell took a knock. And look at that defense from the Flyers as Bell able to leak out in transition. Scoops it up. 
in that great game the last time these two teams met. And Thomas Bell now up to eight points for the Flyers off the bench. Mike Miller comes back into the game. Thomas Bell takes a seat for the Flyers. Just under a minute and a half now to go in the third. Still nothing to separate these two teams. Orson Gale finds King. Hands off with Miller. Miller drives inside. It's going to be a foul called on the floor, says the official. The basket will not count. As Larry Austin comes into the game, Marcus Evans takes a seat. Samuels to inbound. Finds Watson Gale. Watson Gale attacking Anderson. Watson Gale off the dribble. What a move from Jelani Watson Gale. And he ties it up at 52 points apiece. Austin picks out to Ocherobia. Daniels turns the corner. Slips on the deck. Still Jordan Daniels. Great defense from the Flyers. It will stay with Cheshire Phoenix though. Cheshire to inbound here from the baseline. 42 seconds to go in the third. All tied up at 52. Ball into Anderson for three. It's going to be a foul on the th on the three-point jump shot. And Jamel Anderson will head to the line for three free throws. And Anderson, who is a 85% free throw shooter this season. And the uh, referee has just issued a uh, a timeout on the court because I think the basket has moved out of the way. So they're going to just huddle in here and give it a few seconds whilst the... Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened there on the court. I couldn't actually see it from where I was sat, but... Timeout's been called on the floor by the officials. It's almost like a free timeout here for both of these teams. We'll be inbounds by Cheshire Phoenix when we get back underway. 39 seconds to go. Uh, free throws even for Jamal Anderson when we get back underway. As we say, Jamal Anderson... 85% free throw shooter on the season. Chance to go to the line for three free throws here. He averages 13 points and five rebounds a game. Of course, fresh off the back of that GB international window with the national team. Second is good for Anderson. Chance now for him to put Cheshire on top by three. And no mistakes from Jamel Anderson as he drains all three. Gives them a three-point lead. Here's Watson Gale, finds King. King now hands off with Miller. Miller lobbed up inside. A great defense from Austin, who comes over on the help side. And now the shot clock turned off. Cheshire will uh, eat up every second here in these final few moments. Austin, guarded by Samuels. Austin turns the corner, skips it to Daniels, who drives inside, floats it up. Can't get the finish. Offensive rebound, no good. There's Austin on the third chance opportunity the basket will count and Cheshire Phoenix will head into the fourth quarter with a five-point lead over the Bristol Flyers
And you see it on the second attempt, no good. But there's Austin. He didn't give up on the play. Able to be rewarded for his hustle. Well, ball into Miller, who uh, it's not loose by Austin, but he stepped on the line, so it will stay with the Flyers. Stolen away by Anderson. Here's Austin. Kicks out to Jack in the corner. Driving inside is stripped by uh, Ollison, and it will stay with the Cheshire Phoenix. And Flyers just caught napping at the start of this fourth quarter. Jack to inbound. Finds Ocherovia. Stripped by Delpech, but only into the hands of Jack. Shot clock down to 10. Austin takes the screen from Ocherovia. Kicks out to Jack. Has to go to work. A step back two. Drains it. And Coach Kapoulis in disbelief after the play. Ollison ended up on the deck. Again, it's stolen by Cheshire. And here's Jack off to the races. Finds Austin. It's blocked by Ollison, but a foul. And Larry Austin has taken the heavy fall. As he, uh, I think Ollison may have picked up a technical foul in there. So we have a look at the replay. Austin get, gets the pass from Jack, and then, yeah, it could be a foul on Ollison, and then he'll pick up the technical foul as well, I think. Yeah, so technical foul called on Ollison, and the common foul called on Ollison as well you see it there it's just a little bit too much contact you see his reaction after the play as well as uh, he will head to the bench it's fifth personal foul for him so he will play no further part in this game ten points for him four rebounds and Jamel Anderson will shoot the technical free throws before Austin will shoot the two for the common foul. And uh, just a minute into this fourth quarter, it was a close game. It's now stretched out to eight here. Chance to push the lead out to ten now for Larry Austin. good on the second and Bristol Flyers have themselves a 10-point hole to dig themselves out of with nine minutes to go in the fourth here's Miller screen comes from Delpesh Miller drives inside kicks it out to uh, King corner three ball gets the drop VJ King I think Miller was looking for a foul inside as well nothing given it's been a physical game between these two teams. Austin looking for Osherobia. Jams it in. Off the pick and roll. Miller finds Bell. Back top to Miller. Miller wide open for three. And he drains it. Now Bristol Flyers are heating up. A couple of back-to-back -back threes. Six-point lead now for the Cheshire Phoenix. Miller around the back, able to knock loose the ball. Let's look at those threes. VJ King got the friendly drop. And then Mike Miller the follow. Jack to inbound, looking for Otro. It's going to be a foul called on Delpesh as you uh, were watching the replays on the inbound play. You can hear what the fans at the Wise Campus think of it. It's going to be a fourth personal foul on Malcolm Delpesh. Leslie Smith will check into the game. He will take a seat. There you see it on the replay. 
There's a push, said the official. Will be Jack to inbound here. Finds Austin. Full screen comes from Teague. Austin's got Bell on it. Austin. Kicks out to Anderson. Has to shoot with the shot clock. Winding down and splashes it. The floater in the lane is good. And just like that, the Cheshire Phoenix have responded to this Bristol Flyers run. Jack. Screen comes from Bell. Again, it's not loose. And Smith ends up on the deck. It's going to be a jump ball. Which points towards the Cheshire Phoenix. And Cheshire Phoenix have had hands all in the passing lanes. Here today, you see... Teague. Well, I think it's Evans even going to check into the game. As the officials just clean up the wet patch on the court. It will be... Larry Austin, who takes the seat. Evans. It's got Watson Gale on it. T. Guided by Bell. Now finds Anderson. Anderson going to work on King. It's stolen by the Flyers. And here comes Bell the other way. Thomas Bell kicks out to Watson Gale in transition. Watson Gale fakes it, kicks it out to Miller, open for three, splashes it. And just like that, the Flyers have cut the lead down to five. Here's Evans, under seven minutes to go in the fourth. Watson Gale on him, it's knocked loose by Smith. And it will stay with Cheshire. And you see that triple from Miller. Three threes in this fourth quarter for the Knicks. Uh, for the Flyers, even. Evans pulls up for three as the shot clock expires. And the rebound secured by Bristol. King. Smith. Hands off with Watson Gale. Now here's Miller. He's really taken over in this fourth quarter, Mike Miller. Miller again, still with Miller. Kicks out to King. He thought about the three. The shot clock's at three. King has to go to work. A tough shot. It's going to be a foul on Jamel Anderson on the three point field goal attempt. And now Cheshire are in disbelief. We'll send VJ King to the line to shoot three. He's got 25 points in this game to go along with his seven rebounds. And VJ King now three free throws coming up here for the Flyers as he knocks down the first. 73% free throw shooter on the season. Second one is no good for King. Chance to cut it down to just a three point game. As he knocks down the third, and now flies. Playing a bit of full court pressure. Six minutes and change to go. Evans. Guarded by Watson Gale. Now finds Neighbour. Takes the handoff with Anderson. We're still with Will Neighbour. Good defence from Miller to deny Jack. Here he is now, guarded by Bell. Shot clock at three. Jack step back two. Back iron no good. And the rebound ends up with Leslie Smith. King. Hands off with Miller. Miller open for a mid-range two and knocks it down. And the lead is down to one. Here's Jack. Five and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Top to Evans. 
got Watson Gale on him. Shot clock at seven. Evans, step back, tough jumper, no good, rebound King. And that's his eighth rebound of the game. His ninth even. Miller, he's got a mismatch here with Teague on him. Mike Miller looking to go to work. Miller scoops it up, scoops it in. And Bristol Flyers with a one-point lead as he took full advantage with the taller defender on him. Anderson. Full screen comes from Teague. Anderson turns the corner, kicks out to Evans. From deep, inside to... Neighbor shot clock winding down. Neighbor has to shoot as he puts it up. Back iron, no good, and it's rebounded by the Flyers. And Mike Miller really come alive for the team in this fourth quarter. He has up to 10 points to go along with his six rebounds. Here he is again. It's blocked by Jack. Great defense from Cheshire. And now Evans will bring it up with under four minutes to go. Jack, guarded by King. Ball screen comes from Neighbor. Jack turns the corner, ends up with him, puts it up. Nothing. It's going to be an offensive foul on the rebound. And the ball will go back to the Flyers. Coach Kapoulis looks to the table to call for timeout to talk things through. His side leading by one. They trail by eight coming into the fourth quarter. An excellent turnaround for the side in this fourth quarter. They've outscored the Phoenix 15 points to nine in the fourth so far. VJ King now up to 27 points to go along with nine rebounds. He's just one rebound shy of a double double and Cheshire Phoenix they are led by Maceo Jacks 19 points off the bench to go along with his three rebounds he really has been explosive for this Cheshire Phoenix team and with three minutes 42 seconds there really has been nothing to separate these two teams you feel like it's gonna come down to the crunch time as it did when these two teams met up at Ellesmere Port earlier in the season. Took over time to separate the two teams when they last met. And now both coaches getting every second of their timeouts. As the teams head back out there onto the court. Watson Gale, Miller, King, Bell and Smith for the Flyers. Evans, Austin, Jack, Anderson, and Neighbor. The five on the floor for Cheshire. Three and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Smith. Looking for Mike Miller, ends up with him. Ball screen comes from Smith. Miller from the elbow, drains it. Now Mike Miller cannot miss right now in the fourth quarter Austin finds Anderson ball inside to neighbor guarded by Smith the turnaround fadeaway jumper what an incredibly tough shot from Will neighbor and he was looking for the foul in there as well One point game on our hands. Stolen away, but in, into the hands of Miller. Miller's got Austin on him. Miller splits the defense, spins. It's going to be a foul on the floor called against Will Neighbor. So it will be Flyers ball. A 13 foul on the Cheshire Phoenix as Neighbor picks up his second. Miller to inbound. Finds King. King thought about the three. Looking inside for Bell. And it's stolen away by Cheshire. He's done that time and time again 
in this game. Their 13th steal of the game. Under two and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Smith knocks it out of play. And a timeout's been called on the floor by the Cheshire Phoenix. And with the game hanging in the balance, 69 points to 68. Every second counts, especially in these uh, timeouts. It's all to be about execution coming in down the stretch. King up to 27 to lead the ways. One rebound shy of a uh, double double. With three Phoenix players on double figures right now, led by Maceo Jacks, 19 off the bench. Evans on 14, Anderson on 13. And those are players that certainly can get it done in crunch time. Flyers fans will have seen Evans' ability to really come alive down the stretch. Of course, he had that spell with them last season. And could he haunt the Flyers fans here? But in his first visit back to the SGS College Arena. Well, two minutes, 21 seconds to go in the fourth. Phoenix trailing by one. But they will get possession here from the end line. It's going to be Evans to inbound. Finds Anderson. Extra pass to Neighbor. Shot clock down to four. Austin, he's got a shoot here. Puts it up. It's way short and the rebound gathered in by King here he is going the other way VJ King to the hole able to draw the foul and he will head to the line to shoot two now VJ King he's been attacking the basket all game long season high 27 point performance for him in this game and a chance for him to Extend that even further now from the foul line. Well, King can't convert on the first. Chance to push it out to a two point game on the second for VJ King. Second one is good. And Bristol with a two point lead with two minutes to go. Anderson finds Evans. Evans is stripped. Miller ends up on the floor. Neighbor, great pass inside to find Evans, who was left wide open under the bucket. And he ties it up at 70 points apiece. Minute and a half to go in the fourth. Here's Watson Gale. Watson Gale going to work on Evans. Fakes the two, kicks out to Bell. He's got to shoot with the shot clock winding down. He puts it up, he puts it in. And Bristol with the shot clock winding down, somehow able to get the shot to go. Huge play now for the Cheshire Phoenix. Austin kicks out to Neighbor for three. He's short and the rebound secured by Watson Gale. It's going to be a foul called after the rebound. And that will send Watson Gale to the line because Bristol Flyers are in the bonus. Now, chance for Watson Gale to make this a two possession game with just over a minute to go. Seven points, three rebounds for him so far tonight. Second one is good for Watson Gale. 
huge pair of free throws for him. Evans. Guarded by Watson Gale. Evans to the hole. A tough lefty layup is no good and it's rebounded by Watson Gale. Who uh, gets it up over the timeline and he will eat every second out of this play. As uh, Watson has a... Uh, well, the ball is knocked out of bounds, but it will stay with Bristol. Larry Austin knocks it out of play. I think Watson Gale was looking for a foul in there. Watson Gale with the inbound. Into King. King guarded by Anderson into a double. Finds Watson Gale. Pulls up for three. No good on the triple. Rebound by uh, Thomas Bell, and that is a huge offensive rebound. King is stripped by the Phoenix. Here comes Marcus Evans to the hole, puts it up, count it, and the foul. And he will go to the line for a three-point play. As you see it here, King clobbered on the play. Nothing given on that reach in, and that left Evans wide open as uh, Smith committed the foul. And that will send Marcus Evans to the line for the bonus. There's 16 seconds to go here. And Evans at the line, chance to make it a one-point game. He calmly knocks down the free throw. And they're going to need to foul here because the shot clock is turned off. Unless they can, of course, get a steal. Ball into King, and there's the foul on Anderson. And that will send VJ King to the line, chance to shoot two more. He's now got his double-double, 28 points, 10 rebounds for VJ King. And that is a fourth personal foul on Jamel Anderson. Well, VJ King at the line, crucial pair of free throws coming up here for the uh, Flyers. He knocks down the first. Now a chance for King to make it a three-point game with 15 seconds to go. He knocks down the second and timeout's been called by coach Ben Thomas. A pair of crucial free throws for VJ King has now got a 30.10 rebound double double. And with a three point lead and 15 seconds to go, Coach Ben Thomas looking to draw up a play. They've got plenty of talent on their, on their team able to come up in the clutch. We've seen Marcus Evans come off of. Uh, screens for big plays here at the Wise Campus last season. Maceo Jack, 19 points. He's another player that could easily tie this game with a three. As both teams talk things through in these final few moments of the timeout. Well, 15.7 seconds to go here. Bristol Flyers with a three-point lead over the Cheshire Phoenix. A win here for Bristol. Would see them go top of the BBL Championship if they can hold on. There's Cheshire inbound in the backcourt. Ball into Evans. He's got Miller on it. Evans, 10 seconds to go. Now guarded by Bell, looking for Neighbor. Neighbor, now with Mike Miller, pulls up for three, back iron, no good, and King with the rebound, and that is going to be a foul. VJ King will gun the line to shoot two. It looked as though they were looking for Evans to get the shot. Ended up with Neighbor, had to shoot it. 
And King with the rebound gets fouled, so he will go to the line to shoot too. Here you see that attempt from Cheshire. A strong defense from uh, Miller. Hand in the face, and then a soaring rebound for VJ King. And he knocks down the first. Makes it a two possession game with 1.3 seconds to go. The second one is good for VJ King. And that'll do it. Bristol Flyers come out on top, 78 points to 73. And they go top of the BBL Championship. A huge performance for the Bristol Flyers. They raced out to that 12-point lead early on. Cheshire came storming back and they tied it up. It was a one-point game at the half. And then Cheshire went on a run of their own. They led by as many as eight to end the third quarter and then Bristol Flyers.